Sir, have you heard about stable coins arriving on Dotsama? But let's start with what's native, AUSD. A crypto-backed asset mintable on both the Karura and Akala parachains after the recent consolidation with Karura's KUSD. Over 12 million stablecoins have been minted, and their value is backed by any of these assets, which are locked up in a vault and sold off in case their value falls too close to the stables they collateralize. This is an example of a crypto-backed stablecoin. Trustless, stable, and because they remain so with over-collateralized, Collateralization a little bit pricey to create. But with the most recent announcement of Akala Karura's partnership with Wormhole via their EVM Plus platform, other ERC20 stables will be flowing in, including some of the nearly 17.5 billion UST in circulation. UST is an example of an algorithmic stablecoin, automatically minting and burning UST as arbitrageurs repeg the asset by trading it against the volatile Luna token. UST will come directly to Akala thanks to their integration with the Anchor protocol. At first, it will allow us to use Liquid KSM or DOT as collateral to borrow UST on Anchor, which can then be deposited into the earn side of Anchor for 19% APY on top of the staking rewards. But but in the next step, the teams will work to establish deep pools of liquidity for AUSD and UST on Akala and Karura. UST has also recently been announced to support the Moonbeam network, which will soon have the power to export these and all ERC-20 stables arriving over bridges to the rest of Polkadot through the upcoming XEM upgrade and the XC-20 token standard coming soon to Moonbeam. But no stablecoin coming to the network has been quite so divisive as USDT. Minting directly on Kusama's common good asset parachain called StateMine, this is an example of a fiat-backed or off-chain collateralized token. Basically, we have a centralized issuer who says they have enough backing in the vault off-chain and prints USDT accordingly. Within a few short days, integrations of USDT in the Nova Wallet, Bifrost, and of course Zenlink were announced with some additional teasers from community leaders such as as Donnie about its direct integration into Moonsama. It's actually a huge deal. Any chain connected with StateMine now has an additional substrate native stablecoin and one of the most liquid and popular to boot. But decentralization has always been the mantra of Dotsama, and it's vital if it's to remain independent of regulatory influence. A stablecoin that has a history of freezing assets to comply with law enforcement, however, or constantly has the true value of its reserves in question by users and regulators alike? Is this what we want on a network like Dotsama? Or is it the answer to our problems of low liquidity and user adoption? Given StateMine is trustless, do we even have a choice? And if we don't, do we have the courage to build something better? Sir, I'd like to hear what you think in the comments below. And have a great night, everybody.